Hello everybody, I'm the Hive King, and welcome back to Hive Plays Crimes and Punishment Sherlock Holmes, I believe the name is. I'm saying some people in the audience disagree that what I just saw was disturbing. Was disturbing, that's what I meant to say. Okay, so, what? Where'd it go? Ghost, did you... Stupid cyber commercial. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. That that's kind of a commercial. I can't step on the blood. Can't step on the blood. I guess I'm just kind of wiping my feet across it. Ghost took the body. Ghost took the body. Ghost stole the body. So do I. I hate commercials too. I just want to. I just want to wait. Hang around here for a little bit so Ghost can see that she took the body and now she's probably gorging on it. <gasps> Ghost, leave, leave leave some for the other zombies of the world. Yeah, freak. Okay. It was bad. It was flipping bad. Yo, lady, you're gonna go and talk to you. Gonna go and talk to you. I swear, I'm so done. <laughs> so, what the heck, girls? Leave me alone. It was it. No, she's eating my soulmate. Yes, she is. Probably won't leave anything. Ah, they'll probably the soul will probably be left. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be, but he hadn't smoked in a very long time. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. He kept his papers there. It should be somewhere in his cabin. Oh, <gasps> the box, madam. The box that was not there. When it should have been there, but it wasn't there because it was not there because of grimy fingers. It should be there. This Phantom Vision agrees. Dust, like the rest of the shelf, an object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box, or a small chest, perhaps. That lady looked like Mary Poppins. I think I think you mean Nanny McPhee. Ah, oh, that was. I don't think that was Mary Poppins. Oh, I hope that wasn't Mary Poppins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fade. Dum da da dum dum dum. Okay, this episode might get cut short. Okay, so I looked at that thing. Oh, oh, oh! I got more stuff to look at. Wait, why? Is it, what? What's it with the checklist? What do I got here? The ring. Hmm. Okay, got war. Humble. Let me see. What's the important thing here? Guess I still need to figure out stuff about the ring. The person you need is Nanny McPhee. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I want to see Nanny McPhee solve a case for once in her life. What has she done for the detective society? Time to go to Scotland Yard. I really hope this isn't going to be one of those forgot to start the timer on the episode. Start it now. Probably going to be one of those moments where uh, I just kind of wander around aimlessly, aimlessly, not knowing what I'm supposed to do. He's a little smoker. He's a little smoker. I hope I figure out what to do. I'm not in the mood to look around everywhere. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Say something more. Mr. Holmes. I hate you. Let me look at the evidence again. These are the suspects. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute. If I left the book here, how on these abbreviations? If I left the book here, why did it? Okay, the missing tin box. Break in attempts. Nope. Not again. Pin to the. Nope. 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 Okay, fine. Peter carries it on smoker. Nope. 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 Uh, actually, it doesn't say I have enough uh, things for a deduction. Puppets are worse than the telescope lady. What puppets? Wait, I mean the girl you just saw, not the girl uh, through the telescope. Oh! Don't question, Jack. No, I'm gonna question all I want. Staff room. Is Gandalf staff in there? Is it? 
Is Moses' his staff in there? I want in this staff room. I want to see the glorious staffs of the world. Is this still locked? Hold on, I got something in my hand. Locked. Yes. Have you read my story? Which one? Mr. Holmes? I'm a lazy reader, so I don't read very many stories. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, you're in a minute, you're in here. I've done nothing wrong. I know you beat your face with that chair. You haven't done a deduction, chap. Yeah, this episode's probably going to be super short because I have to go somewhere, which I did not know until most recently. What am I... Let me, let me look at my fancy man notebook checklist. Investigate the murder of Peter Carrick. Nope, duh. John Nuggan seems to not be the usual thief. What was his role in that? I'm a lazy reader. It's eight short chapters long. I'll read it uh, when I get back from wherever the heck I have to go. Okay, apparently I don't have to be here in Scotland Yard. Baker Street offers nothing. I guess I'm just going to have to look around Woodman's Lee. A little, little, little. Open case book. I am so hungry. I need to get something to eat. Tasty little food. Gotta get some tasty little food. Sherlock's a sweaty little greasy man. Let us see what we can find here. Okay. Put on my fancy eyeballs. Dum 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 da dum dum da dum 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 da dum. These footprints. Yeah, I got nothing to do with the foot. I don't have anything I can do with the foot. Yes, you Gordon. He's reading a book again. Yes, he is. Um, Peter carries a non. I never read anything any. I never read anything anymore, which is probably bad, but whatever. <gasps> I don't know what happened when I did that large inhale, but it feels like I inhaled a burp. That was weird. Okay, so Kawaii, what fee? You gotta read. If you don't read, how do you expect to order food from a menu? I guess you can memorize it or somebody else could read it for you. No! 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 There is absolutely no way possible. You must read. You must read. I want to trample the... Why can't I just trample the plants, okay? I am so hungry. I am willing to uproot whatever the heck these are. Maybe grab a pumpkin and eat that. I finished the resection pump. Do you mean the resurrection poem? I didn't know we were going to do the collaboration all in poems. That's actually pretty cool. I, I like doing stories in uh, poem style. I'm going back to Baker Street. Going to poke Watson. Maybe he has some, some idea what I got to do. Watson! Watson, help me! Now trampling a beautiful garden. Yes, I will! I'll get a dog or something in order for me. Logic! Yes! That is a great idea. You can get Toby here. Toby can go and he, and he can go and read stuff for you. I'm sure Toby's a very smart dog. One second, background noise. Good gracious, you caught someone. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Fireplace of fire. Oh, this what? This is where I keep my post. Apparently, you got the fanciest letter opener in the planet. Oh, oh, oh! The archives. My brother just helped me with that. I forgot about this. That is not the one I need. Whoa! I'm sorry. This Saran, Dolson, and can't I read? Can't my character read this? I don't want to read. Jack Bones is a menace. No, he is not. He just ran a friend through the heart with a magical soul steel sword. He's not a menace. Jiro Dian, or however the heck you pronounce her name, was taking over, and he was, he was super sentimental of Ghost. He had, to, he had to kill her. Okay. The Dawson and Elegant Investment Fund, a regional banking institution based in Cornwall, has declared bankruptcy as a result of heavy losses in its loan portfolio. 
and has accordingly been assigned for liquidation. It was the 23rd largest bank in Britain, and its bankruptcy was the... Oh, let me try to read this in the Jack Jones voice. Yeah, he, ha he has, like, a voice that talks like... No, that's not the... Ham. No, that's not quite... That's not... This is not it. Ah, whatever. I guess this is the closest thing I'm getting to the Jack Bones voice. Clickety-clack, Jack is... No, no, that's horrible. I can't quite capture the essence. Ah, okay, I can't do the Jack Bones voice. Okay, the liquidation of company is a pure catastrophe for many Cornwall families. Jack, 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 and Jack are, are all medicines. Jack. <laughs> it's only menace sometimes. Oh my gosh, Ellie. <laughs> I'm impressed that you almost managed to pronounce her name. Girodian. 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 Gyro. Clatter. I don't know. Joshua Nelligan was one of the bankers and has mysteriously disappeared. He was seen aboard his yacht preparing for departure to Norway. Nelligan was, is wanted... Both by the police and creditors. Here okay. it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story, but I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. <laughs> Jack Bones sounds horrifying. I want the Jack Bones. Okay, fine. I'm doing the best Jack voice I can. Okay, so I just... Oh, man, this is going to destroy my throat, isn't it? La, la, la. Jack is not a singer. Okay, time to go to Scotland Yard. I don't think I'm quite capturing his voice correctly, but I guess it's close enough. I sound like a serial killer! <laughs> I cackle. Okay. Open deductions. Nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, yeah, I sound horrifying. I know, I know! You guys are jerks. Jack's voice does crack a lot. Ah, it sure it does. It sure it does. Ellie said that. Oh my gosh, that voice is weird. Okay, John Nelligan. Nah, that's horrible. Okay, John Nelligan. What do you know? Reaper mode voice now. You sound like a valley girl. You don't cackle, you clackle. Ah ha ha. Ha ha, pun sensei. You kill cereal? How dare you? I do! The cereal looks up at me and weeps. <laughs> Don't eat me! And I say, <laughs> I'm gonna eat ya. And then I eat it. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. Okay. I haven't made a voice... Uh, a lace voice head. You should, Ellie. We should all have special voices for our OCs. Now, um, I have to go now, so this episode needs to be cut short. It wasn't an, an extremely short episode, but I just gotta go. So thank you, everybody, for watching. It's been great. Thank you guys for story from StoryCraft for coming once again. It's always fun to have you around. So bye bye everyone. Uh, thank you, and this will be on my YouTube channel, Hive King, so you can see it there if you miss any parts of it. Then, if you want to, you can go and look at that monstrosity that I had seen through the telescope. Bye-bye!